is a miracle. There is no question that there are problems in this country between police and community. Yes, you are a donkey. To the latest on that police killing of a black man. Now to new developments in the deadly spa shooting rampage. Uh, and yesterday was a really bad day for him, and this is what he did. And so we are in a state of emergency. Okay, white supremacist violence is and always has been the number one threat to our society. But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. My wife is white. Amen. The, the Breakfast Club, bitches. All right, Charlene, please tell me, why was I your donkey of the day? Uh, donkey of the day for Wednesday, November 6th. I, I don't I don't even really have a donkey of the day. I, I just want to talk to us, my fellow Americans. Listen, uh, America has spoken, and they spoke loud and clear. Donald Trump will be the 47th president of the United States of America. Uh, I have friends on the right. I have friends on the left. I have friends of the independents. And regardless of who we all decided to vote for yesterday, guess what? Donald Trump is now all of our president. Again, I don't want to fight anyone. I don't want to argue with anyone because at the end of the day, we are all Americans and we all want what's best for this country. Uh, I hope. Okay, I know today Democrats are going to be looking for someone to blame. Let me be the first to tell you it's not just one thing. Uh, I personally feel like Donald Trump speaks to people's grievances better than Democrats do. I know people are going to talk about misinformation and the dumbing down of society. I understand all of that, but you don't have to be intelligent to know you can't pay your bills. You don't have to be intelligent to know you can't afford groceries. People will forget what you did. They will forget what you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And to millions of Americans, tens of millions of Americans, uh, they simply felt financially better when Trump was in office. I don't think it's fair to just chalk up, you know, Trump winning to racism, sexism, homophobia, anti-Semitism. Yes, he tapped into all of the worst things America has ever had to offer. And there are a lot of people who agree with his rhetoric and voted for him because of those reasons. But I truly believe most people voted for him because they want more money in their pocket and they want to feel safe. Look, I know the economy does better under Democrat presidents, but Democrats haven't been able to make the American people believe that. I know the border is a bipartisan issue, but Democrats spent a lot of time acting like it wasn't an issue. Democrats created the sanctuary cities. Democrats told them to come on in. Meanwhile, Republicans were putting migrants on buses and planes and sending them to those sanctuary cities. And then, then Democrats had to change course. But it might have been too little too late because at the end of the day, once again, when you see all that money going to migrants, going to the border issue, all you can think to yourself is they have billions for that but aren't making investments into the communities right here in America. You see homeless people everywhere. You don't have no money in your pocket. You don't know how you're going to pay your bills. You face an eviction. Listen, I'm not saying Trump is going to fix all of that. All I'm saying is Donald Trump has made people feel like he will fix all that in a way that Democrats have it. Once again, don't just chalk it up to racism, sexism. Okay, I believe those things play a role, but at the end of the day, it's the economy, stupid. And Democrats might just be really out of touch with what everyday Americans are feeling. Now, I didn't want to come on here today and be all doom and gloom. I have absolutely zero reason to believe Donald Trump is going to be a president that brings people together. But I'm going to be optimistic because I don't know any other way to be. I hope this isn't the beginning of Donald Trump's revenge tour. I hope this is uh, the golden age of America, as he said. I hope all the nut-ass things Trump said he was going to do, he doesn't do. Because one thing Vice President Kamala Harris said repeatedly is Trump has an enemies list. I have a to-do list. There is a lot of things that need to be done in America, and I hope he gets to do it. And we, the people, need to look alive on the ground. Because you have a Republican Party that has a majority in the Senate. Uh, Judge Samuel Alito and Clarence Thomas, they'll probably retire. That means Trump will get two more Supreme Court picks. So what I'm basically saying is there is nothing we can do right now but try to come together some way, somehow. That's it. Huffington Post just posted an article with the headline, Trump just ran the most racist campaign in modern history and won. What are we supposed to do about that? Okay, I'm looking at some of these numbers. I don't even know if these are true, but I'm looking at the numbers. I'm seeing high Hispanic you know, voters nationwide voted for him. You know, I'm seeing a, a slight uptick in black men. They are 52 percent of white women. We can keep saying, you know, Trump is a threat to democracy, but nobody's treating him like one. Not the media, not the DOJ and certainly not the voters because they spoke last night. America got the president it voted for and America got the president it deserved. But now I'm simply asking, how can we all coexist civilly? That's what I'm thinking about today. That's what I'm thinking about right now. People are hitting me saying things like, we about to live in a world that looks like our grandparents' world or worse. People are saying this is going to be Jim Crow 2.0. I don't know, but I know I don't think that's what any of us want, right? 
it might be too much to process right now. It is early in the morning, okay? This is all just hitting us. So if you want to get back to this later, I'm fine with that. But I just want us to start thinking about it because it's going to be a lot of work. But I know God is the best author and finisher. And I don't know what God is trying to tell us right now. I don't know what story God is writing. But I'm listening. Please just hit the hee ho. That's all I got for you right now. That's it. This is exactly why people don't read. These mm. stories be so crazy. What story you read just now? Just the man. That's what's happening right now. Best author, best finisher. Read. Are you slow? Like what is happening? You, you, you a little distraught this morning, huh? I am. Some, I, I am. I, I, am. I have I been all I morning. Know, I, know. I don't know. Y'all okay, in here so hopeful. You just scared. Yeah, I know. So you scared of earlier, Charlamagne. You tell her that the wig on tripling prices. She's been nervous ever since you said that. Donald Trump pushed these Ever since you said that. I ain't nervous. You know what I did? Her wigs are going to quadruple. But that's going to be the least of your words. I already started my chat about my silk presses. I ain't worried. But that's going to be the least. Hair under here is good, baby. Trust me I tell you. That's going to be the least of your words. But that's why I'm scared. But I'm hoping... It's not. Am I wrong for wanting to be optimistic? No, we should Am be I optimistic. We got four years. We should. That, no, me. we might have forever. Let's talk about that. Forever? Okay. Because he said we're not going to be able to vote me. again. That don't scare me. He yeah. said there's no more elections after this one. Yeah, you sitting in here, y'all hopeful that's, and optimistic. That's my, he definitely said that. That's my whole point. He said all of these things. So I'm, I'm done. I'm, I don't, don't want to read this, but God, I know you're the best author, finisher, all that, but I... Mm -mm. God, I'm ready to read. Yeah, you better not go against God. I don't know what, what you're talking about over there. I'm not going against God. I have God, reservations. I'm we not going to gonna talk. read what you told me to we read, to, but to, I don't know what you're saying. We need to talk personally before. I, 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 I just don't get it. I don't understand. I, I don't understand either, well, but you know, sometimes you have, you shouldn't lean on your own understanding. I let's, know that's right. You let's better open preach over lines. here. I'm just trying to tell you. You better preach, boy. 585 Let's open up the phone lines. Let's talk to some more people that's just waking up right now, depressed, down, have anxiety. Need somebody to talk to. We just here to open up the phone. Let's by the way, open up the don't phone nobody, lines. Don't nobody need to have all the answers. Because nope. we don't have them. You nope. know what I'm saying? We don't, you know, it, it, but all I know is the American people made a decision last night. It is what it is. Wasn't no cheating involved. I, somebody called up here early and tried to say, stop the steal. It's not a steal. It wasn't no nope. steal. Okay. Nope. <laughs> this is a free and fair election. And America spoke very loud. All right. Well, let's take the phone. look at that map. It looked like a mayor period on. Uh, it's just red everywhere. Yeah. What you say? It look like what? The period is on red everywhere. <laughs> you leave women alone what? today. Leave us alone today. We got enough that we have what to worry about. Say? Don't speak. All right. Let's, Just leave us. Let's open up the phone lines. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey of the Day is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to MichaelTheBull.com. That's MichaelTheBull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.